everybody, it's Amber, and I'm so glad that you're joining me today because we are going to make the easiest mini album that you'll ever make. This is so simple, and you're going to want to make a bunch of these for Christmas gifts. They make the perfect little handmade gift, and I'm so excited to share this with you. It takes just two pieces of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and you're going to become addicted to making these just like I did. Thank you to Skillshare for partnering with me and sponsoring today's video. You've heard me talk about Skillshare before. I have noticed that I've been gaining some new subscribers. So if you haven't heard of Skillshare, I really recommend that you check them out. Skillshare is an online learning community. They've got over 20,000 classes ranging from every subject you could probably think of, business, art, music, photography, writing. Um, they've got lots of inspirational and educational videos and workshops, and there are over 4 million people already learning with Skillshare. So I was very interested in kind of getting inspired with some more iPhone photography. I'm obsessed with iPhone photography. So this class here is one of the ones that I took. It was so helpful and inspiring and I absolutely recommend it to you. It was just incredible. The things that I have right here on my iPhone that I could do with my photography. So um, this really inspired the project in today's video and I'm so glad that I was able to take this class. It was super helpful. What I love about Skillshare is it's super affordable. It works out to be just under $10 a month. And because of the wide range of classes and instructors and teachers over at Skillshare, you know that you're always going to be learning the newest and trendiest ideas and skills out there. So because you're watching this video, Skillshare is offering two free months of their premium membership just if you go and click the link in my description below, you can start learning with the 4 million plus people that are already enjoying Skillshare. So to get the basic idea of what we're going to make, this is the cute little mini album. This is like a naked kind of version of one. There's room for five plus pictures on here. Plus I made a little pocket so you can stuff even more pictures in there. And once this is all decorated and the photos are added, it is so cute. We're going to do a full tutorial here right now on video and you're gonna see me make one from start to finish pictures and all so the gorgeous paper pad i'm using is solitude by authentique and as i mentioned before this mini album takes just two pieces of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and of course that's pattern cardstock so I'm going to choose two here, and this paper pad just reminds me of the recent little trip that I took with my husband. We were um, we headed to northern Arizona. We stayed kind of like in the mountains, in the snow, in a little Airbnb. It was so cozy and fun. We even visited the Grand Canyon. So this paper pad, of course, and also it was covered with snow. But as I was saying, I was really inspired to use this paper pad. So I've chosen my two 12 by 12 pieces of scrapbook paper. And the first thing you're gonna do is just choose one of them and you're gonna do some folding. You don't even need a scoreboard with this, but you're just gonna fold this in half and make sure you crease it down really good with your bone folder. And then once you have that nice and creased, you're just gonna open it up and fold it in half the other way. Super, super easy. Again, crease it really good with your bone folder and Thicker paper for this would work really well because it would make the album more sturdy. So now that you have your folds, you're gonna open the paper back up and you're left with four panels. So as you can see with this album here, you only need three of them. So we are going to actually cut out this top left panel. So this part should be super easy. You just need a sharp pair of scissors and you're just gonna cut along that fold and then you're gonna meet the middle fold. So then you just need to turn it around to make the other cut to cut that part out. So again, just follow the fold and you'll have that panel cut off. So I am going to make one more cut because as you fold this together, this piece goes in like that and then this piece folds down. You don't want that fold to be obstructed 
um, by that other piece. See how it doesn't lay flat? So you wanna take just a little strip off of this piece here to make it have more of a clean closure. So now that should be much better. Once we close this side part here that we cut the little strip off and close this down, now it lays flat and it's much better. So I like the look of a rounded corner, so I'm just gonna take my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper and I'm gonna round all the corners. Also, by the way, the panel that we cut off, you do need to save that piece because we're going to need it later in the project. So now I'm going to grab my other 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and I'm going to cut three pieces out of this that measure five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And so with the piece you have left, I like to cut this down to six by three. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is just round all the corners on my mats. Now I'm just going to glue these down and mat all the pages. So for the pocket, I'm gonna use wet glue and just glue it down on three sides. And this will give you room to put extra journaling cards and more pictures in. And I think it adds more interest to the mini album. And it's actually easier to do this part um, before you glue it, but I forgot. So um, I'm taking a one and a half inch circle punch and I'm just gonna punch out a half notch. So next, grab that piece that you first cut off and you're gonna cut this down to five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I make this a little bit of a smaller mat because of that strip that we cut off in the beginning. It's a little bit of a shorter page. And then just round all your corners and go ahead and glue this down. So there it is. We have the base of our album done. The paper does all the work for you. It's so gorgeous. And now the fun part. You get to add all the pictures and de decorations. I like to keep this really simple and use just what I have here in the paper pad. And I think I used, yeah, just one outside 
kind of embellishment, which is some Tim Holtz little flashcards. You'll, and you'll see that during the process here. So I'm just gonna decorate this, add my pictures. I'm gonna cut them down to where I need them. And I'm gonna use some of those journaling cards that come with the paper pad. So just sit back, relax, enjoy, and watch as I decorate this cute mini album. I hope you enjoyed watching me decorate mine and you can now see what you can turn one of these little mini albums into. It is so pretty with just a few pictures and embellishments and decoration. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you're inspired to make some of these for Christmas gifts or just for yourself. If you did enjoy this, please give the video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Hit the bell if you'd like notifications when I upload a video. I'll be back very soon with another Christmassy video and I will see you guys then. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.